Hi, Assalamualaikum. So today I'm going to make a cauliflower rice, which is um, very low in carbs. I wanted to replace this with um, rice, so just look at what I have here. So I'm having a floric of uh, cauliflower, so you just have to like grate it until it became like um, rice or couscous consistency. So, let's, so be careful with your finger. If you want to make it much more easier, you can buy the processor, or you can go to the uh, steady DIY and buy the uh, grinder or slicer. I'm not sure, but it costs about like 18 ringgit. And I have a lazy bum today to go um, to buy, you know, just for that to go out because I just went uh, out to my room because uh, actually I wanted to buy the uh, bawal mask. They say that they sell it for like three ringgit for one piece, but when I when I reach there, I don't see any. Actually, I see it, but the price is not showing it. It's around like 7 ringgit 99 cents. So I guess my didn't people. It takes a very long way to go there, you know. And I'm just really disappointed that. So you just create according to your preferences or according to your lazy laziness. I'm pretty lazy, so I just wanted to make it quick. And I don't want to ask so much for this kind of stuff, so you know, that's all. Yeah. Okay, finish with that. So as you can see, this is kind of... Uh, consistency that you want. Either you can like um, use all of these to cook for a day or you can like um, save it, store it in a plastic bag like this with, with a zipper or what do you call this? I don't know. So let's get started with the ingredient. I'm going to show you that, okay? So I already um, divide or separate which one that I wanted to use. I'm going to use like three cups of this and I already separated it. And I'm going to show you guys how you want to like um, storage this. So put a tissue paper or if you have a kitchen paper or whatever, uh, put it first inside the bag and then after that, then you can um, fill it with the cold rice because uh, the tissue paper is meant to um, uh, absorb absorb the water inside of the uh, cold flour so it doesn't turn out you know rotten or mushy or stuff like that. So that's how you do it. I spotted one flower that uh, this one that I accidentally uh, missed, but it's okay. Maybe later tomorrow I'm going to create it again. This is like uh, one fourth of one head cold flour. You see, it's a lot, and you can add macam some time. And whenever you uh, want to cook, when you feel hungry, you want to cook, right? Then you can just add macam saute ke, atau you can masukkan dalam microwave. But, but I don't encourage you to masuk dalam microwave because I'm afraid that the vitamin or the mineral in the cauliflower will uh, rosak. So, it's better. Okay, so this is the ingredient. We have onion, half of onion, and then we have three cloves, uh, three cloves, I guess, yeah, three cloves of uh, um, garlic, and then we have ginger, and five pieces of chili paddy, of the dust. And then we have the pink raw Himalayan salt, and then we have this um, uh, seasoning, uh, chili and garlic. And then we have vegetables here, like carrot, or you can put some green bean in here, but I don't have green bean. And this is the portion of 3 cups cold flour, and some uh, scrambled eggs. Okay, first, first thing first, you got to turn on your gas, fire, and then use say, coconut oil. That much. And then... Um, you put inside the onion, barley, and the ginger. As the smells come the rice, we want to put the carrot because we want to make sure that the carrot is cooked. And we're gonna put this with this. And don't forget to um, put the chili. This chili is pretty spicy, so uh, make sure if your stomach cannot handle the spiciness, just uh, you know reduce the amount of uh, chili. Uh, cauliflower rice. I mean, it's thick because I mix, I mix it with the. Um, I'm not mixing. I just put it side by side. But I mean, it's thick. Next time, don't do like me. Okay, make sure you have a different separate uh, cookers so that it won't get mixed. And then pass the You see? <laughs> oh, the way. 
so you stir it or you stop it until the water inside the cauliflower is uh, low because you don't want to be um, wet. You don't want to be like mushy. Stuff like that. Actually, you can put it on this, but I I try not to because I have already fried this maybe fried a young with water, and then this is a little, a little chunk of uh, kambing, so I will chop this all up and then throw inside this cauliflower rice. So that's why I don't put the ikan bilis up. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of the um, scrambled eggs. Some people put turmeric in, in fried rice. I, I'm, I, I'm confused. I don't know why they put turmeric inside it. Maybe they like the taste, but for me, I don't like the taste of turmeric in my fried rice. So, um, how about you guys? I don't know. I'm just confused. Maybe they... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't want it to be like overcooked. So, maybe I could taste a little bit. I think it's okay. It's not taste... Um, it's already cooked. So, I, I will uh, turn off the fire. Um, turn off the stove. And it tastes great, yes? It tastes um, exactly the same as the fried rice that you, all, that you uh, normally cook with rice, white rice or brown rice, it tastes very nice, but it has a little smell like um, uh, cauliflower smell, you know, it still cannot be um, eliminated. Maybe I will try to find a recipe that could uh, tone down a bit the smells, but this one is eatable. I can eat this all, you know, but this one I will let Michelle share with my husband, and I can't wait to see his reaction. Okay, um, next I will show you guys uh, the finishes and see. So I'm just going to cut it real uh, thin. The best thing about my um, diet is I can eat a lot of fat and I love fat but sometimes it can be like very uh, boring with the taste and most of the time I don't feel much more you because all the fat that I consume. <coughs> uh, overall I like it and in order to make things not really boring um, you have to learn how to make uh, sauces or uh, dip, you know, stuff that you can dip into so that it won't feel boring. Even the chicken skin, I can eat also. Mm. You guys know that I'm practicing the low carbohydrate, high fat diet. If you don't, well, I'm telling you now. We separate all the bones so that we don't want any much of the chicken gulang to the cake because I, I don't have my, uh, what is what do you call the poop beside Mr. Poop? So I don't have that big. And whenever I like much of the cake, the landasan yang betul. It's feeling ouchy, it's okay. Macam, macam kena apa? Macam kena sampah peti lah, serius. No. So all these stuff right here yang ada di luar ni, I'm going to eat lah, takkan nak buang kan? That's it. Mmm. That's a So, I'm going to put this inside the curly rice. Chunny. Bam! Mmm. Yum yum. So, I'm just going to stir it up. You know, masuk campur. Masuk campur pula. Mix it all up lah. Campur ni lain. Just want to mix it up like this. And we're done. Okay, thank you. And I um, actually forgot that I already uh, prepared it. So this is sardines, and sardines is really good sources of a lot of 
mineral environment. And the thing about uh, sardines is that you have to uh, eat it all, their skin, their bone, because the vitamin and minerals are inside of it. And I know every much of uh, fried things, which I'm fried uh, sardine, and every morning, so many muak to makan, so that's why I pair it with lemon. Because I saw one um, travel um, channel where I saw that uh, the Italian, they did their um, sardine, fried sardine with um, herbs, they put it on uh, the sardine, and then they eat it with uh, lemon. So they just squeeze it all over, so that makes the taste more um, tasteable, you know? So that's it, I'm going to pair this with my cold rice. Bye! So, ini lah dia flat lay, flat lay, untuk cauliflower, uh, cauliflower rice uh, yang nak goreng, nak masak tadi. Kita ada ni, cauliflower rice, kita ada lemon, ada ikan sardine goreng. So, ini hidangan untuk dua orang lah. Tadi nak guna tiga cups of cauliflower. And, korang boleh try guna resepi ni. Uh, sebab rasa ni dah okey lah. Cuma, uh, kita punya otak masih fikir macam benda ni bukan nasi. Benda ni sayur. So, uh, masalah ni dekat situ lah. Uh, tapi, the taste is quite nice. Hmm. Okay, selamat makan malam. Bye-bye.